the live action Transformers movies had a very limited amount of characters, so they had to create new Transformers that did not appear in the films, an example being Stockade. The Revenge of the Fallen Toyline was no exception, giving us the very popular Hunt for the Decepticon subline and the toy I am reviewing, Tomahawk. My first impression of Tomahawk is that he gives off the same aura as Maverick from Top Gun, an aviation alt mode with what I thought was a cocky grin on his young looking face are the main reasons why. The robot himself proudly wears his helicopter mode and his lanky body tells me that he prefers fighting as a helicopter rather than close combat brawls. However, his right arm spots what looks like an arm mounted blade, making sure he is ready should the mission require close combat. He also has missiles and spring loaded cannons on his back to give him some long range attacks. Due to his body being mostly legs, he is quite tall for a deluxe figure. But the ratio of thigh to calf is horrendous, making the 90 degree knee bend barely noticeable. The hinge in the middle of the calf gives you the choice of chicken legs if you want. The legs also go out this far and go back this far. Thigh swivel and up and down toe bend together with what I stated reminds me of the Kingdom Air Razor mode the legs having a similar conversion. Upper body has no waist swivel due to transformation, arms are on a ball joint giving full 360 rotations and can go out. Elbow can rotate and bend 90 degrees. Transformation also allows for a reverse butterfly joint. Weapons are attached via a ball joint, allowing you to position them however you want. Head is also on a ball joint giving it a 360 degree rotation and slide up, down, left, right movement. Transformation was very easy and helicopter mode, according to Tier Ricky, is an amalgamation of a Eurocopter Tiger and the ADH-02 Hellhound Attack Helicopter from Pat Labor, and being chunkier compared to his inspirations due to his legs. It also has a retractable landing gear. Top rotor can swivel as all copter toys should. And the spring cannons work really well despite them being 13 years old. This is also me personally speaking that TF Prime Cyberverse Beast Hunter smokescreen, my mouthful, scales sort of alright with Tomahawk. Sort of. It's hard for me to say which mode I like better. Both are really well designed and the gimmicks aren't very intrusive. I would recommend getting this guy. Max price is 50 but even then it could be a bit much. And thanks for watching. I hope you like this style review. Bye.